Good morning. It is Wednesday, June 8th, and I'm not awake yet, but we have a busy day and we're gonna vlog. So today we're gonna use the Presto Stuffer for breakfast and we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna use eggs as the waffle batter. So here's what we're gonna use. I've got some eggs that I've already scrambled up. I put some salt in there. We'll give it one more scramble. That's why it's got that funny color. Got a little bit of ground beef that I may or may not use. We've got some bacon over here, some cubed up uh, Monterey Jack cheese, obviously some Redmond real salt, and then we're gonna season it with a little bit of this pork and good ranch seasoning. I'm gonna spray just a little bit of avocado oil on the bottom of the top. Never done this before, so let's see if it works. We're gonna put some egg in there. And again, what we wanna do is get to right about up on top of this little ridge in the middle. A bit more. And I think then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put just a little bit of ground beef inside of it. Sprinkle a little bit of this pork and good ranch seasoning inside there. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some cubes of cheese because it's cheese. And I got two slices of bacon. I'm gonna try to get it flat. I don't know if we're gonna fit two slices, but we're gonna try. And now I'm gonna put some more egg on top. Eh, I probably did, overdid it a little bit, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and cover this up. Give it a good squeeze. And this is gonna have to be a really quick flip. There we go. We're gonna let this go for about six minutes. Probably added too much stuff. Look at how much this is puffing up and ooh, look at all the cheese gooing out of the side. This may end up being a little bit of a cleanup. Hopefully it tastes good. Let's go ahead and check this thing out. Oh, well, it worked. Let's put this on a plate and make another one. Okay, let's take a look at this one because this one really puffed up. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, I can even lift this one up. Ignore the chipped plate. So which one should we give Rachel? Should we give her the first one where we had no idea what we were doing? or should we give her the second one that looks a lot more appetizing? And which one do you think she's gonna choose? Let me know down in the comment section. Pause the video right now, go down in the comment section and put, I think Rachel's gonna choose number one, purple plate, or number two, the green plate. I know which one she's gonna choose. Good morning. Good morning, what you got over there? Hmm, wanna switch? I'll take the one with the broken plate and the bigger breakfast. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday we go live on Keto on the Couch, where we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we have something delicious for breakfast, you'll be alerted to it. I don't know if it's going to be delicious. What's going on I here? I don't even know if it's going to be cooked. <laughs> this does not look like the thickest batter we've ever used in this stuffler. What is the batter? It's egg. Just egg? Just egg. It's scrambled egg stuff. Just egg. Okay. So, this was the first round. This is the second round. Aww. Okay, let's go. It just looks like there's more in here, right? Is it me? Is there more in here? No, it's a, it's a, a oh. Oh. There's Hold so on. something cheesy going on. I need your phone. You need my phone? You I wanna need, take a picture of it? I need a thumbnail. <laughs> nice. Okay, you can have that one. Thank you. This one, if anything, is overcooked. Well, do you oh. need me to have that? I know you like everything very wet. Oh, uh -huh. 
Yeah, I'm wow. glad I switched. Yeah, you take the bigger one. Oh man, yours is Look perfect. Look at that. Dang it. I'll switch. Do you I, want to switch? No, no, no. It's fine. I feel like it's on. We're on the prices right though, and you have the showcase showdown because this is like pretty awesome. Well, this one. See, yours is just came out of the out of the oven, so, so it's, it's nice it's, and hot. It's, it's see. Oh, look at that. It's gooier. So uh, sometimes the the cheese what goes back into it. It's, it's you know it not as melty now. So yours it's Dink probably it? hot. Dink. Mmm. Oh my gosh, that is delicious. Is there bacon and hamburger in there? Uh-huh. Wow. That is really stinking good. Okay. Really good. Three scrambled eggs. Okay. Sprinkled a little bit of ground beef. Mmm. And then um, two slices of bacon. Yeah. And then about an ounce of cheese. That's what's inside of that. This is incredible. And the egg held up. As batter alone, the mm -hmm. egg stands alone. It puffed up because you know eggs puff up. Yeah. I mean, but you know, here's the, the thing. The machine was like really puffing up. I want it to be delicious, and I want it to fuel what I'm trying to accomplish. I don't necessarily need it to be picture perfect. You know what I'm saying on the outside? Like if yeah. you if you use like a waffle batter of some sort, you're gonna get really defined you know, look to it. Right. But if you get egg. So for all of you who were being like, man, I've got to buy another appliance. You can cook eggs in it. Mm -hmm. I mean, does there that help? Go. Does that help like justify your decision? It's a you very cook, e cook eggs in it? fancy egg cooker. Is that what you're saying? So I remember, uh, you know what I like about it? You don't even need a fork. Yeah. It becomes little sandwiches. So yeah, here's the thing. You could cut this into quarters. I mean, each one of these is going to be a meal for us, but you can cut this into quarters and this is a great, you're not supposed to do this, but I do it anyway. This is a great driving food. Oh, right. Wow. Because you can hold it. Right? It's really good. The egg cooked all the way through. It's a good passenger food too. <laughs> you can eat it in the car if you're the passenger. No, I really, really like it. I cook the eggs perfectly. You get that little bit of a brown on the outside, which some people may not like, but mm -hmm. the inside is cooked really perfect. Really uh, good. So, so I'm happy with that. Yeah, because I don't like, you know, I don't like the wet eggs or underdone eggs. So I really want my eggs cooked well, all the I way want, through. Yeah, scrambled eggs especially. Mm -hmm. I did see somebody in the comment section of the Stuffler video, which if you haven't seen the Stuffler video, go right up here and watch that. It was super um, fun. And then, uh, like I said, we are going to be making a bunch of them. I've been experimenting with a lot of things going into this. And so make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified when those videos come out. Go hit the bell button, you know, so that you're notified when the video comes out. So anyway, busy, busy day. I've got to go to Costco. Um, <laughs> I have a dentist appointment. Mm -hmm. Hopefully to get the bottom in because the temporary broke yesterday. So. That was not fun. Even the, the bottom partial now can't clamp on right. So I've been having to use the, the denture adhesive, um, which I forgot to put in this morning, but fortunately I'm only eating eggs. Uh, I'm just not used to ever using it. And then as soon as we are done eating, I am going out to trim the front tree and then hope code enforcement doesn't yell at me for putting it out five days early. But Saturday, yeah. I am flying to Texas, Texas, to Kentucky. Are you excited? I'm really excited. So I am flying to Kentucky, to Kentucky with John Paul. We are going to pick up his new car because it was like $8,000 cheaper to buy it in Kentucky and drive it home. That is wild to me. And that strategy would not occur to me to be like, go buy a car in another state. Mm -hmm. But you know what? The plane ticket is way less. The plane ticket was than, 90 bucks. Than $8,000. Right. So the plane ticket was $90 and the drive is like 12 hours. Wow. So um, I've got that. And then you have Atomic Habits tonight. Mm -hmm. Now, by the time this video comes out, you'll probably still have one more. Right? We'll have one more because there's like a little section in the end of Atomic Habits that's like, and here's some more extra power packed information. So I'm like, I don't want to miss out on going over that because right. this book has just been so rich and in helpful information that that's why we've just kind of taken our time with it. Right. 
Now, the other thing I need to do today is I need to find a place to go put a kayak that we can launch a drone at because right. we've got an inflatable kayak that a company asked us to review for our camping channel. But we're going to show it on here because it's really inexpensive. I'm hoping it's not cheap. I have not opened the box. We don't know if it's cheaply made. I don't. I'm hoping it's not really cheaply made because it, it's very inexpensive. My, I mean, I'm saying like two hundred dollars or less. My mom or a two man. is a very avid kayaker but the challenge with the kayak is bringing it hoisting it on right. top of your vehicle and carrying it around because you know hers is is pretty heavy and she's tried to go as lightweight as possible but she's hoping that inflatable is the way to go yeah because i think what we're going to do is we're going to go try that thing out on friday um right now we're going to finish eating so i can get up in a tree Anthony is definitely your son. Did you hear the snooze buttons? Three times. I don't understand the snooze button. What is the purpose of the snooze button? I just need a couple more minutes. That's just, you don't get a couple more minutes. That's You're just up. the alert that awakening is on the horizon, but, but not yet. So that is the tree that needs to be trimmed because it's hanging over the house. And also there's that part right there it's interfering with my Starlink signal. So it's move the Starlink or trim up the tray. We're gonna trim up the tray. Uh, the only problem is, is that one of my chains uh, for my chainsaw is a little dull and the one on my long pole one is very rusty. So rather than ruining my engine, I'm just gonna run and get a couple of new chains. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when it is over, over. All that I know is we'll get older, older. So let us dance this side of way. scared watching you cutting the tree in our front yard it just absolutely scares me because you fell out of a tree and dislocated your elbow years ago and so every time I see you on a ladder it makes me a little bit scared so I got a lot done this is completely normal to have this level of debris in your front yard right so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave it right here yeah we're gonna just make a big pile because then it's not on the front it's right. just cut Hey, the tree fell. I yeah. <laughs> well, it's just a case of if it's in your yard, it like belongs to you still. If it's We're on not the putting soil, it on the garbage pile. I'm yet. not putting it out for bulk, but I can't like put it inside of my house right now. So yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave it right here and just make a pile, move stuff around a little bit. And then on Friday, I'm going to tell the boys, move everything out to the front. The trees on the other side need to get done, but this pile is going to be pretty big. It so. is. We'll wait for that for next week. Nothing like taking it down to the wire. It is just a touch hot outside. Just a little smidge yeah. heated. So uh, it's like 10 to one. So I have to go take a shower. My dentist appointment was before at 1.45 and she called, can you come at one? I'm like, I'll get there as close as I can to one o'clock. That that, that's actually, it's 12.53. So that's actually seven minutes. Yeah, well, it's not gonna happen. But again, my appointment was 1.45. Okay. So. We only live like two minutes away, so it's not a big deal. I'll get there by 10 after one. Thank you for helping. My great pleasure. You wanna go lay in bed with me? Nah. Come on. Nah, you need a shower. Okay, 
So I went to Costco today to pick up just one or two things and I ended up coming home with 48 pounds of chicken wings. Now on a side note, am I the only person who has ever gone to Costco to get one or two things and then come home with a whole bunch of stuff like 48 pounds of chicken wings? Let me know down in the comment section. It can't just be me. Anyway, why did I come home with 48 pounds of chicken wings? Because when I got there, they were having a flash sale on these chicken wings. There are six packages in here. And I really like these because you can break open just one and not have all of these wings. And the flash sale was $5 off a package regardless of the price on the package. So I found the six packages that were the cheapest running around to $21, $22. Uh, most of them were about $26, $27, $28. So for me, $5 off, you find the cheapest package, that's where you're gonna get the best savings. It worked out to be between $2.30 and $2.40 a pound for the chicken wings, which is cheaper than going to like Buffalo Wild Wings. So I brought them all home and I was gonna go put them in the refrigerator for one package and then put the rest of them in the freezer. And I found out that my outside refrigerator is not working properly. It's a higher temperature than it should be. Even though the freezer is working, the refrigerator is not as cold as it should be. Which means I need to transfer everything from that outside refrigerator to the inside one. But in order to do that, I'm going to have to clean out this refrigerator because I don't have any room and it's full of a bunch of junk. I mean, look inside of this refrigerator. There is so much stuff and I guarantee you some of it is old, it's expired. I mean, I'll bet you a lot of these sauces aren't even any good anymore. These olives, they're probably like two years old. So we're gonna have to clean out this refrigerator so we can get everything from the other one into this one. Joe, what's this green stuff gumming up our plate? Asparagus. Asparagus. I know everybody thinks we never eat vegetables. I look forward to weird smelling pea. Sometimes we like to have some vegetables and asparagus is a really good one for you. I really, really like asparagus. Let me have one. It's tasty. I mean, so it's just lightly steamed. It's not brisket tasty, but and then it's tasty. Put in garlic butter. Okay, so here's what we have. I feel like I could eat a boot with garlic butter on it, don't oh, you? Oh, I know. Um, so I made some chicken tenders. I did not film it because I was too lazy. Okay. So all I did was take some chicken breast that I had defrosted to make our chicken nuggets. Mm. Link for that recipe is right up here. And decided, oops, I forgot to bring the uh, cream cheese to room temperature. So what could I do? Well, when I was in Sam's Club the other day. Very flavorful. I found these Wisps cheese crumbs. These are Italian herbs. Now, um, the ingredients aren't bad. They It's basically Parmesan cheese with a bunch of Italian herb seasoning. It does have some maltodextrin in the seasoning. Huh. But a serving size is a third of a cup, and there's three grams of carbs in an entire serving. But again, you're talking about cheese and a lot of different spices and everything. There's eight servings in this bag. So what I did was I mixed a scoop of the savory chicken soup keto chow nice. with an equal amount of this huh. to basically just do a breading. And then I dipped the chicken in uh, eggs. So let me say. It is very flavorful. Mm, that is good. I mean, it is like pretty action packed, but you have to be prepared for the herbs because I kind it's of very thought, herby. I thought it was gonna be super cheesy. It's not cheesy, it's herby. Yeah, it's really full of herbs, but it puts a nice crisp it's, on it. It's herby. It, it was a bit expensive. The whole, bar, the whole bag is like $9, but Parmesan cheese is expensive to begin with. And so are whisks. Well, and stretch it. And then, uh, what I have here is some of our honey mustard. It's uh, really good. I'll put a link for that. We don't have a video on it. I'm thinking about making a video, but it's really Super ridiculously easy. easy. It's equal amounts of yogurt and mustard and then thin it out with some almond milk or water and then some sweetener. Boom. And then we are in love with this G Hughes stuff. I know. We're like really, really in love with it. All the cats are here. Okay. You ready? Yeah. What is this? We got another experiment. Oh man, <laughs> what is? What do you mean? I'm not even gonna tell you what's in it. Okay. If I tell you what's in it, you probably won't eat it. Is it like liver? No, there's no liver in it. 
Oh, look at that. What? Okay, there's ham. Look at that. I, I see ham. I, I hope this focuses. I think I see ham. Pretty sure it's ham. I want to make sure I get some of everything. Yeah. All right, you want to dink it? Dink. What is it? Wow. Is this like chicken cordon bleu mm -hmm. inside of a stuffler? Is that what you've done here, yeah. sir? So. Wow. This is our carnivore mug bread recipe. So no cream cheese. Because again, forgot to but take I, out some cream cheese. But you know what? It has a really nice texture. So the batter is lit, it's a double recipe of the carnivore mug bread for the microwave. So it's two eggs, six tablespoons of pork rinds, um, some baking powder, and that's it. That's all that I put in there. You really I don't put need that anything in, else. Then I put some cooked chicken. We bought some like the just the Tyson strip that was already cooked. It was on mm -hmm. sale, buy one get one free when we were in public. It's a nice grab and go. Some cubes of Swiss cheese because chicken quarter balloon has got to be Swiss uh, cheese. Okay, so well, I don't usually like Swiss cheese at all, and I got to tell you, it's just mm. being a melty. Mm -hmm. It's a melty. It's just a melty cheese that's playing nicely in the background. So yeah. I, I don't feel like, yuck. And then what I do is I put on top of it, they had some like no nitrite, no nitrate, like ham. It's tasted with the honey that mustard. That was on sale. Oh yeah. Uh, in public. So there's one slice of there in there on top of it. And that is, that is money. That is good. That is really good. Oh, Wow. The fact that there's no cream cheese in it either mm -hmm. is just like, I mean, it is carnivored up in there. Right? Yeah, it is very, very carnivore. So we have seen a bunch of comments from people saying like, can we make some stuff without pork? Which we have a lot of recipes without pork. We're just messing around with pork rinds yeah. right now. If, if you've been around our channel for a while, you, you'll see that we get into like ruts i don't know yeah uh where we do the same thing we use the same ingredient a lot and then you don't want to taste but it for a while pretty much all of these recipes that you're seeing where we're using pork rinds for like the waffle batter and stuff you can sub out an equal amount of almond flour okay i'm uh, just not into almond flour right now yeah i'm not big into almond flour because it brings a lot of carbs so occasionally we'll use it but but that's good to know that if you just want to make it boom almond flour done mm -hmm. like that's a, that's an easy swap out so same thing with this mug bread take take the three tablespoons of pork rinds replace it with three tablespoons of almond flour this is i was only giving you one. Oh, i'm sorry do you want no one? i'm just kidding uh, no. <laughs> <sighs> that's delicious though okay so yeah so we got the chicken i don't know I don't know which sauce I like better though. I mean, I like our sauce the most. I feel like, mm, I, I don't want to fall in love with the G Hughes one. <laughs> yeah, but hello, Roscoe. Hi, Roscoe. And then, oh, by the way, Bubby's Pickles. Mm. They are expensive, but every once in a while, I just got to treat myself with They're Bubby's so Pickles. Good. I don't know, they've got a different taste than any other pickle I've ever had. I always think that, um, the pickles that you get in the refrigerated section are so much better mm -hmm. than the ones that are in the jar. I got my bottom teeth in. Are you enjoying using them? Um, it'll be more enjoyable when I get my actual partial. Mm -hmm. So the partial that's in right now is my old partial and she basically had to cut it to fit because it's going to take two more weeks for that to come in. And we are really hoping that we can get this done before Kato Khan. Yeah. Because the timeline, it, it's not easy. So Tight. Tuesday, I go in for the impression for the partial. Right. Then I have to wait like a week and a half, and then they're going to fit it with the teeth. I hope you make a good impression. And then see how it is, and then if it's all good, then they'll do the final you know, partial denture. The final with, denture! With uh, an anticipated delivery date of June 28th, and we're leaving for KetoCon on July 4th. Cutting it close? We're much, cutting it sir? very close. So we'll see how. Oh, let me show you what they look like. So. Oh, I thought you were going to take your other part. No, out. I'm not taking the part. I was like, out. what? So, yeah. 
I'm really happy. Um, so two to three more appointments and then we are done for a year. Woo! Now we got to pay for it. Yeah. So that, that's the, that's the hard part, but, uh, at least it's done. I don't have to worry about it. I, today was painful again because you know, when you took off those temporaries, like everything was super sensitive and, and where you to do the injections really, really hurt. We're not quite done, but I got to tell you, I'm super proud of you. We made it through. Mm -hmm. You kept it keto. Right. I could, I couldn't be prouder. Well, I think we're gonna end the vlog right here because uh, we're gonna have a date night. Mm -hmm. so if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time Joe gets new teeth, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time, bye. bye.